History of Things World 2016. It's my pleasure to be here with Neil O'Doherty from our partner Teradata. Thank you very much. How is Teradata involved in the IoT and in which projects in particular? So Teradata has been around for 36 plus years and have always been involved in big data and analytics. So we're involved from an IoT point of view really now in, in taking all this detailed sensor data, bringing it into systems and combining it and integrating it with other data so that people can find real insight. Um, and we've been doing this probably on, on and off before IoT even, uh, it was a, a, a phrase, probably 20 years we've been looking at sensor data. Wow. Your keynote presentation this morning focused on thinking different about IoT. Hmm. Can you tell us more about what you mean with that? Well, I think that organizations need to think differently in, in kind of three key areas. The first one is this idea that, that rather than looking at just things, you need to look at systems and look at the wider op uh, optimization of systems and systems theory. Um, so a lot of companies today are just focusing on, on testing and, and, and looking at particular pieces of equipment or particular assets and condition-based maintenance is kind of the hot topic. But in fact, all the real transformational and, um, and all the big money opportunities are going to be by looking at wider systems, so the factory plant, uh, cities in terms of smart cities, etc. Uh, so that's one thing. The second thing is that, that we're really focused on how do you bring this operation technology world and this information technology world together. So they've been kind of diverging over the last 30 years in terms of capabilities and, and how do we bring them back and have them talk the same language and have them really look at how you bring that data together from the operational world and from the information technology world. And then the final thing that we're really focusing on is how do we look at the role that a platform can play in IoT. Uh, and as a partner with companies like Siemens and others, you know, we're enabling their platform for IoT. So you know, we are doing the heavy lifting in terms of uh, providing the infrastructure so that their people can then do the smart things that make Siemens money. Okay. How can companies develop and implement the right IoT strategy? in terms of sensors and data? Well, for me, the right IoT strategy is one that starts with kind of what is your core business and what is your core business strategy? And then how does data enable that? So how do you uh, look at what data is needed to drive the metrics or to drive uh, the analytics or to drive the decisions that you need to make in your business? So if it's optimizing uh, efficiency in terms of energy consumption or if it's uh, optimizing uh, the network in terms of providing a distribution of power or if it's optimizing the ability for a train to run between Barcelona and Madrid without any, any failures. Uh, and then you start to build it up in terms of what sensors do I need to look at, what data do I need to combine and integrate with other data. So we very much like to start from the business end uh, and, and think down to, you know, is there something that you need to deploy in terms of sensors that will better help you understand your process or, or your core business. What aspects of this strategy prove to be most challenging for businesses? I, I think from, from my point of view today, there's, there's a lot of still confusion out there in terms of, of, of investment strategies. There are uh, clearly a lot of legacy infrastructure that needs to be taken care of. But, but mainly I, I see it from a, from a top management level in terms of, uh, yes, they, they're making investments in IoT, but, but I'm not sure if they're fully joined up. I'm not sure if they're thinking of the systems. I'm not sure if they're thinking about the, this integration. And I'm not sure if they're thinking about the right platform to deliver it on. Um, so the investments need to be kind of focused on what will make a difference for the organization or the company. And um, what do you think is the biggest opportunity that uh, IoT presents businesses with today? I think if done correctly, it, it, it can have uh, you know, this transformational change to the business. I mean, we're working with, for example, an oil company and um, the big challenge in the oil industry is how do I increase the oil recovery that I get from a reservoir from, say, 35% on average today, their target is over 60%. And it's much cheaper to get oil out of somewhere where you know it is than to go try and find new oil. Um, and, you know, it's the ability to use sensor data to better understand what exactly is happening in your reservoir that is, that is, the, is the big objective. And for me, this idea of building the digital twin of the physical world or the digital twin of the process is the key to be able to understand how do I optimize, how do I do what if scenarios, how do I change my processes for the better so that we can get this big change in terms of results. 
and now what types of applications is Teradata involved in or planning to be involved in? So we're, we're less of the application side. Um, we do have a number and we're investing in areas like early warning for failure, but we're, we're really we're an enabling technology that allows our partners and our customers to, to build applications on, on top of our technology that allows them to scale to any size that allows them to do uh, complex multi-genre analytics, so not only statistics, but also applied mathematics and uh, path and graph and time series type analytics, all within the one environment. So, so really we say, see ourselves more as the enabler for the Siemens of the world or the Monsantos of the world or the uh, Valmats of the world to build applications themselves that will allow them to, to be different. It's the second day of the Industry of Things world. What yes. do you think of the event format so far? I think it's been a great event. I've been very impressed with the with the level of, of executives that have been coming to the booths, have been, have been uh, talking. I think there have been some really interesting presentations. I, I think there has been an understanding now that, that for Industry 4.0 to really deliver, uh, some things need to change and, and, and new uh, opportunities are there for, for both customers and vendors to work together. Uh, and I think it is also been said a number of times that there's no one area or one company or one d uh, vendor that can deliver the entire Industry 4.0 or IoT uh, ecosystem and therefore I, I, you know, a lot more collaborative approach and, and I think this conference has been great to build networks to, to really understand what other companies are doing and to, to really see how we can all work together to deliver some of these uh, really big opportunities that Industry 4.0 offers. Any specific expectations for the Industry of Things World 2016? Uh, for me, I, th I think it was about really getting to meet the big customers that we are, we are focused on. For, for, for Teradata, where we tend to focus is on companies that have very large data volumes, very large analytical problems, um, very large and complex processes and systems and, and cultural challenges. Uh, and and they, those companies are here and it's great to see them. And it's, it's also great to see that they are, they are working on things and kind of also encouraging to hear that they're not quite there yet that they, they need to do more. Well, it's great to have you here. Thank you for answering our questions. Oh, you're welcome. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you very much.